Doctor Who production team, as part of Bad Wolf Productions, have been hard at work today. They have been filming in the parade in Cardiff. The TARDIS has been on set. They've been on location. Here's a few images from set underscore DW. So... Obviously, people haven't been able to get very close because they run a very tight ship there. Security keeps people away. But a few images have peeked through. These are like prop vans and camera kits and cranes and stuff like that. Uh, they've been filming in the parade, but what have they been filming? So there's been a lot of set dressing for the 1960s to make it look like Abbey Road. Abbey Road is the street in London where there's the Abbey Road Studios, which has now become synonymous with the crossing that the Beatles have walked past uh, as part of the Abbey Road album art which is one of the most iconic images of British pop culture and you can see in this as well that Shooter Gatwa and Millie Gibson uh, they run across the Abbey Road crossing that they have created so they are not actually on Abbey Road they have recreated Abbey Road in Cardiff and you can see them going through I think he's walking backwards going into the TARDIS either way it looks like they're trying to recreate that moment so the fact that they are now seemingly recreating the Abbey Road pop pop culture reference and also coupled with the new casting news this past week makes me think that they might have done a musical episode the news this past week doctor who hits another high note as jonathan groff joins the cast award-winning star of stage and screen jonathan groff is set to appear in the new series of doctor who in a key role jonathan shot to fame when he landed the role of jesse in musical comedy drama glee he has been internationally celebrated for his work on screen starring um, from starring as eric in the box office hit knock at the cabin to playing holden ford in the critically acclaimed series mind hunter as well as having a leading role as the new agent smith in the matrix resurrections jonathan is also renowned for his major voice acting roles in the frozen films he plays sven no no what's his i forget the sven's the reindeer isn't he one second frozen who what's the name of the character who who is basically doing it with the reindeer I, we, we can go past the subtext here yeah he plays Kristoff in the frozen films there we go, thank you. Yeah, he plays Kristoff in the Frozen films, and Sven is the name of the reindeer. I I've not seen Frozen since it last came out. So, Jonathan also made his mark on Broadway, dazzling audiences with his uh, famous performance as King George III in Hamilton, where he was nominated for not only a Tony Award, but also a Primetime Emmy Award for the live stage recording. A.K.A. he gave us this. Da -da -da. That guy. This is the only king that we shall stand this weekend. The coronation was a couple of days ago, but this guy, this is the king that Doctor Who fans were celebrating on this weekend. Da -da -da. That guy. Also, we know that Disney have got uh, a stake in series 14 of Doctor Who and also getting the guy who's from the Frozen films, who plays Kristoff in the Frozen films, involved in the next series of Doctor Who makes an awful lot of sense. However, let's not forget that uh, Jonathan Groff is not the only musical theatre star who has joined the cast of Doctor Who in recent weeks. We've also got, of course, Jinx Monsoon, who, yes, does lip syncing, does singing, is a drag performer, but Jinx also recently finished a stint on Broadway playing Mama in Chicago. We are assembling a musical cast. And when you look at this costume, when you look at the keyboard collar, the piano collar, everything musically themed here, not to mention we saw some video recordings, we saw some fan filming on set when they were filming the 60th anniversary specials in Bristol. We had Neil Patrick Harris looking like he was singing and dancing with David Tennant in the streets of Bristol while Carnage was all unfolding around them. I think we are hap I think we are happening upon a musical episode. I think that is the case. And we've got Jonathan Groff here as well, saying, I'm so thrilled to jump into the extraordinary mind of Rusty Davis watch and watch the incredible shooting out we saw in this iconic role. Showrunner Rusty Davis said, This is an incredible coup and a great honour to get such a huge star striding onto our set. So strap on your space boots. This is going to be a blast. So this is, of course, for Series 14. We don't know who he's playing. We don't know to what capacity, but we do seem to... Uh, the, the word key role has been used in this. So I don't think that it means he's going to be a companion or anything. I think he'll just have a major role in one of the episodes coming up in the near future. At Tardybox on Twitter uh, reported this as well. Jennifer Castillo, an actress, quote, trained in musical theatre, was involved in a production at Wolf Studio Wales around the time Jinx Monsoon 
started filming Doctor Who. Uh, and this quote here, this um, this post here from Jennifer Castillo, never seen my hair so curly, uh, blah, 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 uh, a bus for London to Cardiff. There's nothing in the actual post itself. This might be a little bit of a reach, but if we've got musical theatre stars coming over to Cardiff to film something at the same time that Jinx Monsoon was filming, this could be absolutely nothing. But it does look like the signs are heading in the direction of a musical episode of Doctor Who. I'm curious as to how they'll play it. I'm curious as to what on earth they'll do with the genre. If like, It doesn't look like they are, for example, landing on a planet and everything in the air forces them to sing. Like, they can't speak, they have to sing. Because it looks like they're in London on Abbey Road, maybe the Beatles will get involved because we can see in these images as well that Shooter Gatwa is in his blue costume from the 1960s. So maybe the Beatles are turning up. Maybe Jonathan Groff is playing Ringo Starr. That could happen. We don't know. What comes next? We don't know. It's, <laughs> there's all these references and I can't wait for all of them to come knocking. Empire's fall. It's much harder when it's all your core. Is so good in this role. For those of you who don't know, he plays King George in the production of Hamilton by Lin Manuel Miranda, and he's got like three appearances that are so disjointed over the course of the musical. He appears like near the beginning, in the middle, and near the end, and it's just basically just him on stage, just getting very angry at what is happening over in America and being like a really bitchy ex. And it's so fun and it's so well played and performed. Yeah, watch Hamilton if you can. It's really good. Rest in peace monetization. Not if I only play limited clips. F fingers crossed. Filming footage from today showing Shooty and Millie dancing together. Let's have a look. <laughs> look at them uh i will say though i'm so glad that obviously when the series is broadcasting again when the show leaves the niche of doctor who twitter and during the marketing and the production and everything um I, i'm i'm so glad that we're in this stage now where the filming of doctor who is like niche again like, it's still out in the open but it's niche because remember when there was like be videos and photos of like jody whittaker mandip gill Bradley, uh, Bradley Walsh and Tozin Cole and that having fun on location and not my doctors and reactionaries and conservatives would be like, well, they shouldn't be having fun. These are terrible people and they should never be having fun on set. <coughs> Excuse me. And you just got these two, like, just having fun on set and it's just fun to watch and reactionaries aren't watching this so we can enjoy it. I hope 15th is just a silly little fella, a little goofy lad. <laughs> That's such a good description. Shake your jowls when you say that, Mr. Okay. <clears throat> These two shouldn't be having fun. Look at them having fun. But no, they should never be having fun on set. They've got a job to do. Let's say, I'm, I'm so glad that's not part of the conversation. Jeremy, what have you sent me as well on Twitter? Oh, no. You did the jowls thing. So this is from Jeremy on Twitter. Oh, God. These two shouldn't be having fun. <laughs> I apologize to headphone users. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much.